Hello, Just Too Good here, back with another video. Today I'm expressing my thoughts on the LEGO New York Toy Fair 2016 LEGO City Summer 2016 sets pictures. These pictures are from the Toy Arc, and you can see a link to them in the description below. Without further ado, let's get into this, and let's start off with the gas station slash service station set. This set releases in August, and I absolutely love the build of this. We haven't got a gas station in so long. I only have one gas station, which is the one from the Town Plan set, which I think is probably better than this set. But being a town slash city gas station set, I think this is the best one of those. I love the architecture on it, which looks really modern, cool, and unique. I like the little sign on the building, especially where they use these kind of sloped uh, kind of wall pieces to give it a very modern look. And I like the uh, convenience store inside there, which is probably my favorite part of the whole build. Uh, other than that, like I said, it's a long overdue updated set that we needed. And what's really cool and interesting is that they have two separate builds in one set. I don't know why, but hey, that's cool. The second one looks like it's a little mechanic shop or something like that. Either way, I hope they start doing that more with city sets because I think that would be really cool and make people buy more than just one of them. Because now I might buy two of these, build the main build, and then the second build I would put on the side and make it just one huge kind of gas station area. The only downside is that it's going to be, I think, $80 if I'm correct which for 515 pieces is pretty steep, but either way, I'll still get this set. All right, next up is the Fun in the Park City People Pack. You guys know I already made a special thoughts video on this. I think this set is incredible. Best city set ever, and it comes with, what, I think 15 uh, minifigures, which is awesome. Lots of rare pieces, lots of exclusive pieces, like the little new baby mold, which supposedly has a removable head, which is really good, uh, and... Uh, also, the body mold, of course, is new, but supposedly you can't move the arms or anything like that. Love the wheelchair build as well, which is a piece that we've been wanting for years. I'm glad they finally delivered. And lots of rare hair pieces and everything like that. For example, one of the people are wearing the little bride hair piece from Series 7 of Collectible Minifigures, which is a short hair piece that looks awesome, but it hasn't come to any other set. So that's really neat as well as the old granny hair in kind of a light gray color and the spiked up hair in this yellow color. All of it just looks so cool. There's lots of new torso and face prints as well. This is going to be $40 for sure, it's confirmed. So the piece count's a little bit low, but of course the minifigure count is so high that I think it's an excellent deal and a lot of people are going to flock out to buy this set. All right, next up we got the city advent calendar. I never really buy these, but this one it looks interesting in the fact that it has no crook whatsoever. And we usually we get like a prison crook in one of the sets. And I like the builds in these. It looks very civilian based, and it looks like there's not much miniature builds, which is awesome because I don't really care for miniature builds, but more of just actual builds like they do in say the the Lego Friends advent calendars, which are usually my favorite. Love the little mini snowplow and Santa's dog sled. Those are all really cool. Uh, I don't think I would get that set, but if I was to get a City Advent Calendar, I would say this one because this is the best City Advent Calendar yet, in my opinion. Now we move on to the airport sets, and the City Airport Terminal is actually a really nice set. It's not overpriced, in my opinion. I believe it's $100 and not $120. Glad they kind of kicked that trend of doing like two 120 sets in one summer, like last year. And the airport itself actually looks okay. It doesn't look com super, super complete, but it still looks good for what's there because you can see the inside's kind of dull. I wish it was more of a complete inside. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll do my own airport mock. But the actual build of the plane is cool because it uses different colors than what we'd usually expect. I'd expect a white plane, but now we got this blue plane, which looks cool. I have a plane about this size, the size, uh, the 2006 passenger plane. And all it really does is sit on my shelf. And basically, that's because these builds are so big. They look cool, but they're big. So either A, I'll get this set and make an actual airport because, you know, two airplanes is a good uh, amount for an airport. Plus, I think I have the Friends air or airplane from uh, last year, the, the small one. Or B, I'll just skip out on the set altogether and make my own airport. Either way, I like the builds of this. I think it's a good value for what you get because there's lots of big pieces despite the price per piece ratio. The second set is this uh, airport air show, which is $90. Uh, that one I think is a little bit expensive. I don't know. I, the builds for the air, the show planes are kind of, I don't know. They're, they're just not that interesting to me. I never really cared for show planes. I remember they released the show plane set like a few years ago for like $15 to $20. That's a good price for this, but you get one of those about the same size. Another one a little bit bigger, about the training jet size from last year. 
but I do like the little pavilion that you get. I think that looks so cool. It's, it's a, actually it's a it's a hangar, right? Uh, yeah, it actually says hangar on there. It says air show hangar. So that's cool, and I like the little biplane, the small plane on the bottom on the, the of the box. You can see right on the box on the one on the actual ground. That looks cool, but I don't know. I don't like the air show planes, and the price itself seems too high for me. So I would probably skip out on this. Then we got the airport VIP service. This is a cool set. The only downside is it's $50. Ugh, that's kind of reminds me of the limousine from 2010, which was basically the same kind of thing, except I think it was a helicopter and a limousine. Uh, I think this set's better, but both of them are very pricey, all right? Um, overpriced, dare I say. So the, the, the little limousine itself looks great, and the, the actual private plane looks awesome. I love the design of it. I'm kind of concerned, though, because one side doesn't show opening a little... Let me see. Yeah, it, I've only we've only really seen one side of it, uh, which doesn't have any opening doors. I would really like to have opening doors on this plane, uh, but it seems like the top part lifts off, so that's okay. Um, but other than that, I just like the colors on it. The black and the white is just such a great mix for something that's high class like this. And uh, I guess it's like a superior version than the a Friends plane, which I thought was good, but this one's just bigger and better. It comes with a limousine. So I'm really hyped up about this set, and I really do want to get this one. I think I will get this one. Out of all the airport sets, I think this is the one I'm like 100% going to get, as well as a minifigure collection, but we'll get to that later. There's also an airport cargo plane. Interesting little cargo uh, set. Usually when we get cargo sets, it's like a whole wave, but it's just one little cargo set. But for the airport, I like the price on this. $20 is perfect for something this size. I don't think it's overpriced whatsoever. I think it's a good price, and especially with that front little nozzle piece and the bottom pieces, which are big pieces. So yeah, I'm probably going to get this set. Honestly, I don't, I don't, I don't mind it whatsoever, especially for the price that it is. And then the last set is the airport starter set. It's really not that good of a starter set in my opinion. I wish the mail plane was like the mail plane from uh, 2008, which I think was like the best mail plane yet. It was super small and it was like ten dollars. It's one of my favorite sets actually from that year. But this one's just kind of like a, a polybag style build, and it's just a male helicopter. So I don't really care about that. And uh, I, I like the little minifigures and everything, but even them, even they aren't that interesting besides their torsos with the little male printing. And the mailbox is cool because it has, I hope that's printed, but it, it might be a sticker. I don't know. So yeah, I hope we get more male sets, like a male van and stuff like that. But the actual builds here aren't very interesting in my opinion. All right, so now we're moving on to the Volcano Exploration sets. Uh, this one, the biggest one, is going to be $120. Ugh. I don't think it's worth it for that price. The Volcano is so weak. Oh, my gosh. I mean, on the box, it looks extremely bad. In person, it looks a little bit better, but I wish it was a full-on freaking Volcano. Like, I would rather them focus on making a full-on Volcano than focus on making all these freaking vehicles. Like, who cares? I mean, I, I know, yeah, you need vehicles. Sure, I, I guess a, a little mini driller thing, not one that size, Ugh. and then the whole research. Like, I don't care about that. It's a volcano. I want a freaking volcano. Ugh. So that just ticks me off. Like, I wish it was a full-on volcano or something like that. But either way, they just want to add in vehicles, raise up the price, and it's 800 pieces for $120. Yeah, no. I know it has some big, ugly rock pieces, but at least make it 100 not 120 Okay, then we got the Volcano Supply Helicopter. I think this one's like $50 or something. I don't care about helicopters. I don't know why they put a billion different helicopters in sets. Actually, I do know why. It sells with kids, yes. So it's not a set for me, but I'm sure people like it. The only thing I do like about the set, however, is that the girl has the construction hat in white with a ponytail. We usually only had that in uh, red, so it's nice to get that in white. I do actually like the little claw vehicle. I'll, I'll give it that. That kind of looks cool. kind of cool. And then we got this volcano crawler. Uh, this is, I think, forty bucks. And I don't care about the crawling vehicle. Like this vehicle is in the big sets, but it's smaller. And it, even then, in that set, I think it's too big. It's like they should just leave these vehicles to the smaller sets and then make a big volcano for the big set, and just with very small vehicles. But I'm going to keep on complaining about it. Just, just forget it. Now we get to the the better sets in in this. I think are the smaller sets because this volcano exploration truck. I think looks the best out of all the vehicles, and it's going to be about $20. That's a good price. It looks really cool, and I like the little mini drill on it. Everything right there is good in my opinion. I, I will probably get this set. 
And then, of course, the Volcano Starter Set I think is really cool. I love the cute little volcano. It doesn't look much like a volcano, but it's more of, I guess, a geyser. So that looks cool. And the little vehicle right there, it's just something interesting in a small $10 set. I could go with that. So that's really neat all in itself. And that's it. My favorite sets of this wave are, of course, the park. I think that's the best LEGO City set ever. But also, I love the service station. I just wish it was a little bit cheaper. The VIP plane, again, wish it was a little bit cheaper. And I think the airport sets are better than the volcano exploration sets, in my opinion. But I do like the live colors on the volcano exploration sets. So what do you guys think? Which ones are your favorites? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Check out Toy Arc, and I will see you guys later.